This is Adelshoven by MN99, MN97 and Martin N. It's 100.51 megabytes to download and the description says Welcome to Adelshoven. The map is fictitious and is intended to represent a region in Central Europe. There is something for everyone when it comes to field shapes as some fields are rectangular and others are very natural and curved in shape. The map was created for small to medium sized farms and contains a lot of detail. In addition to agriculture, particular attention was paid to wine and olive cultivation and forestry. A popular plantation was also established. In total there are 39 fields and 4 meadows. For all forest friends among you there are 23 forest plots. The cultivation of olives, vines and poplars was divided into 16 viable plots. A total of 92 plots of land are available for purchase. In order to maintain the fun of the game, 10 productions and 6 sales stations were installed. It just goes on to list those production points and sale points. And there is collectibles also installed. So let's go and check it out. And here we are guys, this is where you start off in all three modes, right outside the main farm. This is the map, if I zoom out. Like it says, there's all sorts of different even shapes and sizes of fields, which is pretty cool. Some big ones, some small ones. And then obviously we've got olives up here with a couple of small fields in amongst it. Grapes here, grapes there. And we've got poplars down here again with a random thin field in the middle. We are up here and like I say this is kind of your starting farm. I'm in new farmer mode like always and that is what you start with in new farmer mode. <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming but basically all this sort of area like this it goes around these sort of outside of the fields most of it should I say is kind of class i guess is the periphery of the map that is only 44 to buy so if i actually click on it like that hopefully you can sort of distinguish the areas that we kind of do start off with um in new farmer mode that are more of importance to us should i say so we've got the darker blue sections like this so in new farmer mode let's start at the main farm we start off with the main farm which also takes in field 43 that is sort of one chunk of land we've got field 25 we've got field 30 field 22 and field 2 we've got a couple of strips of poplars down here we've got some grapes a couple of strips up there we've got another section of grapes there and we've got two forestry areas one there and one over there so they start you off with quite a decent amount and varied amount as well which is pretty cool now to buy these plots um, separately the farm there is 56,000 25 is 29,000 field 30 is only 9,000 this grape section is 39 forestry there is 66 this forestry is 269 field 22 49,000 this popular section, 29.5 grand. Field 2, 117,000. And this strip of grapes, 42,000 are just over. In terms of the other fields and areas, this is the biggest field. That is 800,000 just over. And then like these sort of smaller fields here, that's only 8,400 these little strips we've got oh that's actually a bigger chunk isn't it 150 grand get quite a bit there there's even a tiny little strip there which you can buy that is olives i think that's three grand then we've got all the forestry areas so as you can see they're going to vary in price 731 for that smaller chunk there for 341 but they are scattered all around the map even these bits so you can pretty much own most of the map which is pretty cool yeah you could actually i think maybe that is the only thing you can't buy 
but yeah um, in terms of sort of sell points we do have a BGA down here um, we can buy that area for 117,056 but that doesn't mean you own the BGA I'll come to that when we get to the BGA I'll sort of cover that a bit better we got obviously as you can see sell points production points scattered around the map the shop is over here just behind us so yeah that's that bit out of the way um there is 20 collectibles on here we do start off with two large greenhouses which are on our main farm which we'll see in a second there is contracts available we don't start off with any animals but we do start off with some crops in our silo which is pretty cool and also we do have a seed tank which is full and we've got a solid fertilizer tank which is also full 60,000 liters so they are kind of sort of giving you a good head start so that's pretty smart I like what they've done here and I have to say as well I quite like this map it's pretty smart and you'll see what I mean in a minute all of the terrain the lighting's good the textures the details there's a couple of little niggles that I've seen and again I'll touch on them when we get to them um, there's no modded in things the only thing that I could see in productions and factories they've got another tailor shop building which is exactly the same as the base game one so whether that's got like an increased capacity I'm not sure I don't know why it's modded in but that is there there's nothing else I could find um, under where are we painting again nothing out of the unusual we've seen it all before we've got animal mud asphalt concrete dirt forest ground grass dry grass gravel rock and granite that is it just checking checking even my notes i don't think i've missed anything right let's touch on slot counts why we're here because we've already outside the main farm um in new farmer mode like i am it is 1091 slots so it's a little bit up there but you do start off with quite a bit of equipment so in small tractors we've got two we've got the stayer 8150 we've got the small landini which is going to be ideal for your grape work which you start off with and if you wanted to move into olives as well three medium tractors we've got a class axion 800 the voucher 8750 and the massey ferguson 3670 deutsch far harvester lizard pickup 2017 class carrot trailer header for your harvester in great technology they start you off with some equipment which is good we've got the grape trailer we've got the hardy sprayer and we've also got the pruner as well um, we've got a small mulcher again ideal for your grapes small plow cultivator nordsten cedar the breed out k105 fertilizer spreader we've even got a bio baler for your poplars which is very smart a couple of forestry equipments we've got a trailer for your logs and a stump grinder in animals we've got a water trailer header for your header for your trailer <laughs> trailer for your header and we've got a couple of 10 winkle 750 kilogram weights so there you go that's where your slot count is now if you sell off all of those equipment all of that equipment i've just showed you you can get the slot count down to 904 so you can reduce it by quite a bit and then if you sell off all the buildings on this farm including things like that the floodlights and i'll show you all the other things as we go around that you can sell but you can sell everything you can get the slot count right down to 852 if you were to sell everything off that area in front of us will look something like this
so not a bad area at all in the other two modes fire manager and start from scratch you come on here you don't start off with any land not even the sort of periphery of the map you don't get any land you do get all of the same starting equipment and some of the things on the farm are here the silo and the sheds aren't here but what is here is we've got a solar panel which will obviously generate you money i'll show you that as we go around the seed and fertilizer tanks are here the bees are here including their honey pallet spawn point and these spotlights there's one there and there is one over there like so ah so that is all that bit out of the way so let's crack on what i'm going to do is i'll show you the map first so it makes sense we'll have a run around the farm i'm going to run across the road we'll check out the shop and then for some reason our pickup is up here <laughs> bit random so what i'll do after the shop i'm going to cut i will jump up get the pickup and we're going to start at the grape processing unit and then we're going to kind of go around like this if that makes sense and we will end up down here although i probably will drive up so you can see this grape vine orchard thingy majiggy like so right so there's a lot to take in but as you will see it's pretty cool this map right spotlights like i say this is our silo it's the farmer 500 ob1000 so it's a 500,000 litre um just standard crop type one but as you can see on the bottom right there is that amount of crops in there which is cool tip in pipe out there's one of your tractors um this shed here again it's one of the sheds where you can just come in and don't matter where you are turn the lights on um, some of the grape equipment in here there is our solar panel which is pretty cool so you may see as we go round our money top right will probably go out go up i did in fact miss the solar panel when i first came on here and i got right towards the end of the tour and my money was increased and i thought hey what's going on and then i realized right another shed this has got quite a few doors in some of these sheds you will be familiar with again turn the lights on and off wherever you are most of your equipment is in here we've got a door there a door there one behind the harvester and one there so as you can see most of the equipment's there running around the back we've got our solid fertilizer tank just there and as you can see if i go up to it 60,000 litres sea tank 27,300 that is your honey pallet spawn point because we do have bees we've got two large greenhouses which I've mentioned earlier like so this is your farmhouse so sleep triggers just there another spotlight your bees are just here and then there's another tractor and our water trailer even the water trailer if i come up to it is full up so they've kind of got you going haven't they there is a couple of water points you can fill up your trailer even from this little bit and then just over the other side there's a little sort of pond area so you've got two options to fill up your water from it will even allow you to fill up from just there so that's pretty cool right this is one of our fields as you can see we'll run up to the shop we'll go around this way because we can get through the fence now there's two of these fuel stations on this map this is the first one i think there is either something wrong with them or they're just there for decoration because i couldn't get any trigger to come up on either of them so either this one and there's one down by the bga couldn't get any trigger to come up to refuel so it could be just decoration but anyway this is our shop we've got a workshop area just here and the trigger just there 
is your shop menu like so we do have a couple of pieces of equipment at the shop we've got our pruner here we've got a weight there there's also a weight which is kind of on its side but yeah so this is also your reset point as well so that's one thing to note right that is that area done I'm going to hop up to the pickup. I will see you up at the grape processing factory and we will whiz round. So here we are. This is the grape processing unit. Obviously you can use it as a sell point at the minute or you can buy it as a production chain. So a couple of little things like this. You can see these are floating. So just something to note pickups there I've left that running but if we run down this side look at that I think those end ones are our one of our set of grape vines but that is kind of how you'd imagine grape vines and orchards to be like sweeping down the hills that is pretty impressive I like that and it gets just as good up by the olives in a second which we will go past We will head up this way. There's some really nice views as well on this map. Because as you will see when we go round, it is not flat by any means. So there's the olives. Look, look at them sweeping up across and over. They've got little tracks in between separating them. Now I'm wondering if that gap has been left enough so you could squeeze another one in there if you wanted to and they would join up nicely again there's a random field in amongst them we could have taken that track down to the right but this does meet back up with that track in a second so I think it's been done really well this map some really nice details there's parts of the map where you go around and you feel like you're in a completely different place to where you just were and I like that you've got sort of little built up areas you've got main roads with cars there's people walking around and then you get out into these sort of bits where there's just no one about I mean look at this for scenery it's just definitely got a really nice vibe about it this map well that's me personally saying that some people might not like it at all right just round this bend we have the sawmill so I'm not going to go too mad showing you all of it but it's where you can sell your wood over there get wood chips out etc obviously you can buy it as a production point as well heading down along the track We've got all sorts of forestry on our right. There's a track leading up through the forest. All sorts of different trees growing as well. So I quite like that. It's not just your standard straight trees. And then hopefully we'll see some traffic in a minute. I like these roads as well. They do feel like they've got a decent bit of width about them. So I think you'll be okay with sort of medium equipment. There's quite a huge field on the left. So there you go, you can see there's um, traffic about. Oh, we're having a little bit of a wobble. Oh dear. I think they might have been on the source. <laughs> Look at them. Let's get round and out the way of them guys then. So through here we need to go left into here as you can see look it just all sort of sweeps across and round and field goes right up to this edge um, so just in front of us here we have our first sale point and this is a land handle and it's a very similar layout to the Oak Belleron one so if you're familiar with that map you'll know what I mean so just there where we've driven across that is going to be a sell point for your grains from your crops and then just here is where you're going to sell all your sort of produce and your pallets 
of things like tomatoes, strawberries, things like that, which is pretty smart. And then whether you noticed as we drove in, we do have a lime point just there. So you can buy your lime from there if you wish to. We'll go back out this way. I'll stop here and I'll quickly show you where we've been. That allows me to get my bearings too. So obviously we started off down here. I did the running around. I jumped up here. So we went from the grape processing unit all the way up past these olives around up there. There's the sawmill round took a right all the way along and then we came in here so we're just here so we need to go all the way down now and carry on around this way now here's one of the other glitches that is they handle which i think translated to cattle trader i think so i was expecting that to be the animal dealer whoa sorry there didn't look that's my fault um, but that icon on the map is in the wrong place. There is a animal dealer on the map, but it is not there. <laughs> I was running around trying to find the trigger and nothing come up. So I carried on with my sort of first look around and then thought, oh yeah, there it is. Let's get around this guy. But look, huge fields. Got streams and rivers running through forestry everywhere and it's true what they say there is a bit of everything for everyone I think this is the huge field on our left full of sunflowers look at that for a size of a field so yeah very cool right just up here is where the animal dealer logo is there's nothing here it's just a forest and then I could see there was a building through the trees somewhere oh yes up here um, oh are you queuing up are you okay is your foot stuck in the mud madam <laughs> what is happening I thought this could have been it but it's not it's just like a church but that's kind of like sunken into the ground because that door looks very odd but there is a um just there right let's head back down to the pickup the, we'll leave them to it we'll carry on the tour because you will see where the animal dealer actually is in a very short while So yeah, there is a couple of little niggles here and there, but quite a lot of the maps that come out have that. So another lime buy point just there. And again, you may recognize this building from Oak Belleron because here I'm going to stop and run out. I'll leave the pickup running. We have kind of your animal dealer sell point. Um, it's they handle something or other that's where you can sort of sell your bells or your loose silage grass hay i think that even takes wood chips as well and then round this side we do have the animal dealer so if you come up to the icon obviously we don't have any pastures in there so that is the animal dealer just across the road we've got the bakery which is pretty cool and then we'll head down this way we've got a little built up area just here which we will I don't know what that car's doing we will come back this way we kind of have to come back on ourselves we've got the tailor shop to our right as you can see and then just up around the corner is the dairy which obviously you can again buy it as a sell uh, buy it as a sell point buy it as a production point if you wanted to so that is the dairy so we'll head back this way where those sort of houses were we need to turn down that main road let's 
so just there they kind of get freaked out by that junction they don't quite know what they're meant to do but a lovely lake in the background and just up in here we have the farmers market which obviously is another sale point you can sell all your sort of lettuce etc just there now I am going to be a little bit cheeky I'm going to cut through here this is like a footpath but I want to get back onto this road or track now there is people walking around along here and they do get in the sort of middle of the track so obviously I know you can't run them over but if you're trying to play a bit realistic you'll want to try and avoid them and they're walking all up round by the church we've got out here in the woods the debris crusher where you can sell your stones which I quite like that it's a bit of a random spot to have it in Again, loads of different types of trees in here. Some you'll probably make some good money from and some you won't. Now we need to go straight across. Past the fields. We do have wind turbines on the map as well. Again, nice decoration, little fences around. There's even gates on them just there if you wanted to simulate you were going in there to fix it or something if you're doing a bit of role play and then just up in here we've got the spinnery so that's where you can sell all your cotton and wool etc and you can buy that again as a production point if you wish to cool bridge here which you can obviously drive under very nice very nice views nice size field to our right there's the BGA which we're going into but we have to drive it through this way to get to it so just here is the other fuel station but again like I said cannot get no trigger come up for filling up clicking now it's nothing nothing happening so just something to be aware of this is what was this where's my notes the cereal factory just there and then in here we are actually going to go in this one because we can get to the BGA this is your oil mill if we go back out this side and round we've got sweeping track it goes down and round got another lime by point just there with a huge shed as you can see and we've got a way station like so two huge bunker silos this side it's a little bit like the Elm Creek BGA we've got a sort of elevated area here and then you can go down a little bit two more huge bunker silos just there now as you can see the icons are showing so I could assume you could still use this as a sale point like you can on Elm Creek bit of open space here there is also an electric charging point there and the methane charging point as well which is pretty cool they are showing on the map as well there's your kind of usual places on the BGA now what is interesting about this area I'll stop the pickup so you can hear me now if you remember right let's have a quick recap why we're here so we were down here at the animal dealer which isn't there we come along we went into this area which is the animal dealer and sale point um, that was the bakery tailor shop dairy back along along there farmers market i cut through there debris crusher around cross the road down here to the spinnery wasn't it yes across the bridge all the way down that was the cereal factory oil mill and then we're sort of in the bga line point and that's the charging stations just there 
So if you remember rightly, this area to buy is 117,056. If I come up to this to buy this, that says 1,617,056. So what that is doing is adding in this land as well. So if you buy that, it takes the money for the land as well. You can just buy the land if you want. So if you wanted to place things down, but that doesn't give you a lot of room. Now, I bought the land first, hoping that I might be able to sell some of these bunker silos. I thought maybe you could get rid of these two, maybe even this shed to open it up a bit so you can put whatever you like down there, even the weighing station. You can't sell anything. So then I thought maybe you have to actually buy this BGA like that for 1.5 million or 1.6 million if you're doing it properly. But you still can't sell anything. You cannot sell anything down here. Not even the lime station. I know it's not showing now because we don't own anything. But I have tested it. So therefore that only really gives you this sort of little area. If you wanted to put anything extra down there. Which is a little bit disappointing. I suppose you've got a little bit here as well. But I just thought maybe get rid of these two. Because this one's got a street light in the middle. So that could, might get in the way of something. But there you go. I thought I'd mention that. That's something to note. Probably um, pointless information. <laughs> but I do like to try and test these things. And let you know what you can and sort of can't do. After all, it's supposed to be a map tour slash review. Um, right, we'll go back out the way we came in because I'm going to be a good boy and not cut across the grass. Don't seem to be getting any traffic down here. It's just sort of on the main roads with the markings on. Um, this is the sugar mill on the right hand side. And if you can just see over to the left, I will stop and run down. We've got the poplars growing so they're broken up into sections obviously we do own some I think here roughly but there's some more over there pretty cool uh, where's the pick up I can hear it there it is moving on from there we've only got a couple of places left I think we are almost there guys and here is two of them on our left So we've got the biomass heating plant where you can sell your wood and straw, things like that. And just opposite, we've got the carpentry, again, where you can sell wood and you can buy it as a production point if you wish to. Moving on from there, when we get to the last production point, um, I will show you again on the map where we've done or been. There's another wind turbine. But again, just look at the sort of view and how high up we are. That's where we're heading, over there. I just really like the way it's been done, the landscape on this map. We've got quite a tight hairpin, switchback, whatever you want to call them. Like that, as we're sort of sweeping down, lowering down. Now, I did want to take the track that is to our right underneath but I realised earlier that I can't do that so I am going to be naughty and cut down this way so some of these places could be a little bit tricky to get to got a kind of like shallow stream running through there which is quite cool I'm going to head up around this way in between field 3 and 2 which is what we own which has got a nice crop of sorghum looks like it's ready to harvest almost and then just in here we've got the final production point which is the grain mill look at that, that's nice isn't it very cool 
Right, let's show you where we've been. I think I'll quickly drive up to the grape vine bit where we own. So, where did we come from? We came through the debris crusher, down through there, spinnery, through there. Um, that was cereal, oil mill, in here, BGA and all that malarkey. Back out, that was the sugar mill along biomass and carpentry and then we went through all this switch back thingy and I was a naughty boy and cut down through there up around there and we are now here so we're just going to quickly drive up around there and we'll stop here because we do own those two sections there so just so you can see that sort of grape area and see this kind of little bit of the map I think the route round as well has given you a pretty good taste of the map. Whoa, that's going too fast. <laughs> Steady on there. Yeah, it just feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, you know, when you're out in sort of this territory. So there we are, there's the grapes growing. There's also olives over there in the background, I think. It's pretty cool here, you've even got a fence around it. It seems quite open down here. And that is the shop just up there. So if I jump over. So yeah, these are owned by us. And these, so it's pretty decent size as well. And like I say, I'm just wondering if you could squeeze another pole in there and it would join everything up. That would be pretty smart. But that is it, everyone. That is Adelshoven. I hope I've said that right. And that is by MN99, MN97 and Martin N. Hope you have all enjoyed the map tour and stayed to the end. I really appreciate it if you did. If you have enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty